Welcome to the DR3 V channel. Today we've got a build for you that if you follow it correctly, you'll probably never die in a game of Fallout 76. It is my super enduro build of Doom. It's my endgame build to so check it out. If you're after a safe and cheap market base to get a hold of legacy weapons, legacy items, or anything that's hard to find in Fallout 76, then check out website Easy NPC. Use code TR3B to get 5% off. Links in the description. Alright then, Plip Plops, this is my bloody commando endurance fat evasive build of doom and this is my end game build it really is i've got all three of my accounts in this uh, these are cards we are using and you should use if you're at the end of the game now and you just want to be blasting avoiding and dodging check this out blocker take 45 percent less damage when you may leave opponents attack we've got the obvious commando cars that everyone seems to have these days we've got tank killer which makes your rifles ignore 36 percent of armor with that nine percent chance of staggering we have got these in endurance endurance is on 12 points quite important because that makes your hit points go right up and also with these cards you'll be taking an extreme amount of damage you don't have to wear power armor with this build check it out this one ironclad brilliant gain 50 points on damage and energy while this card is on while not wearing power armor we have got fireproof take 45 percent less damage from explosions and flames and life giver has given us 45 points on our maximum health lovely jubbly tenderizer card which we've all seen before does what it says on the tin but we've also got nerd raid which is great for the bloody build we have got action boys so our action points don't run too low now gun food is a very important that card it is for me and it will be for you too but you can stack that gun food card with this as well because you are doing extra amount of damage with these two cards on the drilling and gun food check out what it says there you're basically getting plus 60 extra damage with that card with an extra 30 there you're almost doing a hundred percent damage in that with your weapon really two really brilliant cards that you must have on an evasive overlooked card this is i've certainly have looked at it in the past but it is actually really good to put it to the test it's amazing another no power armor card as well basically it gives you three um, points and uh, for damage and energy every point of agility you've got the max of 45 which will be max i've got 15 points in agility now on to the luck we've got bloody mess for extra 15% damage all round for every weapon, brilliant card. Another important card for VATS and that is the Grim Reapers Spurrent. This is very important for certain guns in the game, but I find this card at freestyle works really well with any gun in VATS. I'll show you that in a minute and why. Serendipity, another good card that you must have on if you're a bloody build, which we are with this. And last but not least, we've got a Ricochet brilliant card only 18 percent could be a little bit higher but you have a chance to deflect back some of the enemies range damage no pvp on that card though but check out this that we've also got these mutations we're using i accidentally put eagle eyes on i swallowed one i consumed one i didn't mean to healing factor yeah you don't really need it you're a bloody build but my super scaly skin and speed demon is the free uh serums are always will have on now as for the armor i have i always must have my sentinel armor all round all matching pieces lovely jubbly and it's just giving us that 75 chance to reduce damage by 15 percent while standing still a really good perk to have on your character weapons we're using obviously anything bloody because we're a bloody build so, one of the best guns in the game is this bad boy. If you have a chance to get hold of one, this is, I say, the number one best weapon in the game. None of that legacy rubbish. This is the best gun. It really is. I won't give it up for anything. Brilliant gun. Right, up next. Right, I just want to show you what this central armor can do. It only works, mind, when you're standing still. And the great thing is about any of the perk cards you've got on as well, He's in the top left hand corner there, you will see when the card activates. At the moment, because we're under 30% health, a lot of it is a serendipity and nerd rage. Obviously, when the um, 
send slime or works, you don't actually get notified for that. But when you hear that weird sound there, like bullets ricocheting, that is actually the ricochet card. Lovely little sound. And when you hear it, that means you are not taking any damage because it's ricocheting off. It's actually going back on to the enemy that is trying to hit you. So there's a nerd rage there just activated there. Honestly, you can stand it all day with these perk cards on this armor and take so much damage. With a few simpacks as well, obviously, and you will never die. Obviously, a few hits do get through now and again because it's not 100% guaranteed that every shot is saved. But, you know, a few shots do get through now and again. But with spreading the love event at the moment, very handy because if you ain't got a legendary wrench is quite difficult. I did do a video a couple of days ago showing you that you can just take the health down with a couple of bullets first and when you get to the end like I'm here, give it a whack over the head and you still get the point for taking it down. Or well, onwards and upwards. One of people level under death claw. Let's still be taking damage on this bad boy. Boom look, nothing at all. He's standing still. What's he gonna do for us? Minus level 100 death call that is hardly doing any damage whatsoever. Boom, dead. One of the people is the glowing gulper. I'm going to stand still. Check out the amount of damage I can take. Notorious for doing that a lot of damage, but with this build, it's not a problem. <laughs> Barely touched me. Have some of that. By people, these are glowing frog crawlers. I don't hold much hope for these because these are really, really notorious for a lot of damage. We have got three of them here. We're gonna wait and just see how long it takes for us to die. Usually, if you're not wearing sentinel armor or got these perk cards on, you will die very quickly when it comes to these. I think I'm getting shot at by a behemoth as well. But there it is. Right, let's put him out of his misery. There's one down. Right then, people, this is the ultimate test. This is a behemoth. Apart from a Scorched Beast Queen, these deal the most amount of damage in the game. So check this out. This is why this build is so amazing. Oi, right, down here, Stinky. Once he swings that bat, there's usually no coming back. Boom. Look at that. Totally avoid that one. Plus, he's level 100 as well. Check that out. And glowing. Taking a sim pack there. But still, imagine if you're full health doing this as well. You'd be here all day. You'd never die. Well, I'm going to show you what gun foo and adrenaline do. When you're killing enemies, you're stacking up extra damage for the weapon that you are using. You can do, you can get, for instance, the fat man to do like 5,000 damage with these two cards. We're not using the fat man, we are going to use my favourite weapon of the game, the B2525 Fixer. Check out what we can do with some of this. Obviously with that, it's a deadly weapon. You don't even need to go into stealth mode to do this, it's so OP. Check it out. Also I'm staying still as well, so any hits I do get, don't even register. I'm pumping that critical button at the same time as well, so I'm getting critical shots in. 
and it is that easy. It's that powerful. This is why it's such an amazing build, and I've got to share this with you.